Hello everyone, it's Annette Green here with Graphic 45 and today I'm sharing a project that I made not only with Graphic 45 products but Spellbinders dies and the new little sapphire machine which I'll show you in a moment. Um, this is a 5x5 mixed media box from Graphic 45 in the ivory. This is home sweet home paper and all the little details that you see on here are made with some Spellbinders dies that I'll tell you all about in just a moment. But I thought that I would show you very quickly what the project is and then I'll take you through a quick little tutorial uh, as far as how it all came together. As you can see the Spellbinders dies that I used were the basic set A which has 14 dies in it. These nesting circles and nesting squares and labels and flowers and a butterfly and some flourishy things. And I also used this little mini flower one set which has a large flower and a small flower and it's all used in this cute little sapphire just love this little guy it's so adorable all right i started off with the graphic 45 5 by 5 inch uh, mixed media box in the ivory color and the little mini album inside was made with the pages these little cardstock um, squares that come in the box and then i used the home sweet home in the 8x8 collection and i used a little bit of the 6x6 papers as well all right, we'll take a little closer look here. Like I said, this is the mixed media box in the ivory. This is a metal staple from Graphic 45, one of their label poles. I have added some buttons on top of some of the die cuts here. I've added some pearls and there's some burlap in there and a little doily. Uh, you'll see all this coming together in the video. And so inside, real quick, just a quick peek. This is very simple and, and pretty basic. It's going to be a gift for a friend. Um, and so inside here, I have tucked a little mini album. And so what I'll share with you in the video here is the, the foundation, getting the pages started. And then hang in there till the very end, and I'll show you the completed album uh, page by page. Okay, so let's get started. To make my border on the top of the box, I cut from the signature sheet. I cut away the outside borders like this and I'll get rid of this piece and it's basically just to get the four corners but what I'll do is switch these around so it's kinda like this when I piece it back together onto the box lid and I used a small scallop scissor to get in there and cut that scalloped edge in there Won't you miss me set inside Grand Central Station And your eyes grew red and wild Before the Jason I felt your body move through my coat I felt your footsteps silent But heavy followed me onto the shuttle Tap my shoulder one last time And that was all, that was all I miss when I knew you best I miss the typewriter in the basement I miss making your room a mess I miss not being misused I miss it all, so I guess I'll lose Second to April 13th, but who's counting? Song after song after song after song, a mountain into mountains. He told me you beat her up, 
Behold the super Keith on the cup What's up, enough's enough And where's my morning coffee? I regret every single thing I ever said I said those things too soft That is it. That is the mini album. So I'm going to take you through it very quickly here just to give you an overview of the finished pages. You saw the foundation. And so 
here right away you see that I've added some photo mats and some photo corners and a Spellbinders die cut. So there's your first spread inside front cover and page one. And then the next two pages. Like I said, very simple because until I get my photos in here and I start to journal, I don't want to put too much yet. I want to wait. So there's another Spellbinders die, a little bit of cut aparts, and two photo mats. A little bit of journaling space there. And this was that slanted pocket page, and so I took one of the Spellbinders dies. It's supposed to be a label with two handles on it, and I just kind of cut one away and made just kind of a fun little tag out of that one. And here is just a little cut apart from the papers, and then the butterflies. And then a little bit of the stickers and some photo corners and a photo mat on this side. And this was that double pocket page that you saw me pull together couple little cut aparts there for journaling. You could swap those out for some photo mats. Another cut apart. And here's that mitered cornered photo frame there. Some stickers. It says friends and summer's day. More photo mats here and cut aparts. Letter stickers spell out celebrate because I'll be on this little trip with my friends on the 4th of July. So I'll be giving them this as a gift. A uh, little journaling sticker here and some twine and then a photo mat here with the photo corners. Okay, and this is like a side loading little belly band here. So there's uh, one photo mat that's stuck to the page and then you've got a loose one there with a little tab pull here. And then a, this is an ATC craft tag from Graphic 45, and I kind of added that at the end here. And then I made a little envelope out of craft cardstock with my envelope punch board and put a sticker there to close it up. This will be just a place to gather, I don't know, receipts or little tickets or memorabilia, that sort of thing along the trip. And then here is just some blank open area for any last minute thoughts or thank yous and maybe a photo or two. So that is it, and there's the back and the spine, and, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I loved using the Spellbinders dies. Very fun. I love that little sapphire machine, and I hope you join me for my next project. Whenever my head starts to hurt Before it goes from bad to feeling worse I turn off my phone, I get down low And put my hands in the dirt